You don't get drowned by falling into a river. You only get drowned when you remain submerged in the river. You are not a failure because you failed. People become failures when they refuse to move on from the failure that they experienced. On that note, I would like to welcome you to today's episode. I have titled it, Don't Get Submerged. In life, nobody sets out to fail. Nobody sets out to make mistakes. But what I've realized is that from time to time, we will make mistakes. From time to time, we may fail. What happens after you have failed? Should you remain there? Does that qualify you as a failure? The answer is no. Even people who have achieved great things in life at some point failed, and I'm sure you are aware of that. Today, I want to share with us three tips on how to be able to move on from failure. Because whether you and I like it or not, from time to time, we are going to experience failure mistakes. But how do we move on from it to ensure that even if when we fall into a river, we don't remain submerged in that river so as to ensure we don't drown. Number one is embrace failure as a learning opportunity. Personally, I have found out that I learn a great deal about myself, about the people around me, even about the task that I failed in when I experienced failure of some, of some sort. The periods that I can call my failing period have equipped me with a lot of knowledge, a lot of insight that has ensured that I am a better person. When we fail, when we experience anything we can regard as failure, I am imploring, I am advising that instead of condemning yourself, rather ask questions. Ask questions like, why did this happen? Or what could I have done differently? How did I arrive at this situation or at this position? When you ask yourself the right questions, you will be able to learn a lot of things that will equip you with needed knowledge to ensure that you don't repeat the same thing. That's one. And then to ensure that you are now a, a more experienced person that can guide other people. When we experience disappointments, we experience failures, we experience mistakes, instead of condemning yourself and giving up, see it as a learning experience. The periods that I have failed have made me to understand myself even better. So embrace failure as a learning experience. Number two is that you should maintain a positive perspective. It is not your final destination. Remember the quote I gave, you don't drown by falling into a river. You only drown when you allow yourself to be submerged perpetually inside that river. It is not your permanent place. The fact that you are falling doesn't mean you cannot stand again. The fact that you fell today or that you fall today does not mean you cannot fly tomorrow. You must have the right perspective about the situation you are in, about the condition you are in. It is not permanent, except you decide to make it permanent. You can learn from it and you can move on to still achieve the success that you set out initially to achieve. And that is why another quote says, failure is not the end. It is just a stepping stone to success. When you have the right mindset about failure, you will be able to turn it around and still achieve the things you want to achieve. Failure can, could be like a scar. You might not be able to erase the old memory, but it still doesn't mean it will not heal and you cannot move on to achieve the things you want to achieve in life. So have the right perspective, understanding that it is temporary. Whatever has happened, you will learn from it and you're going to get better and be able to move on. Number three is that you must be resilient. You can go and study autobiographies, go and read histories of any great person that you desire, that you admire, that you like. And you realize that at some point in their lives, they failed. In fact, at some point, they contemplated giving up. But something on the inside 
just didn't let them give up and eventually they achieved success you must also be resilient you must understand that nothing good comes easy whatever life throws at you whatever situation throws at you whatever circumstances throws at you even if it knocks you down courage yourself summon the courage to rise again and give and go at whatever you are you set out to achieve when you do this when you become a resilient person when you practice resilience you improve your chances of achieving your stated goals and objective i would like to finish again with the quote that i started with you don't get drowned in a river by falling into it you get drowned by remaining submerged in it failure is not the end it is just a stepping stone to success so wherever however in whatever you have experienced failure don't let it be your final destination learn from it point number one embrace it learn from it number two is that you have a positive mindset understanding that you can move on from there you can be better you can move forward you can still achieve the things you want to achieve and then number three stay resilient don't give up if you're able to apply these three things eventually you will turn around your situation and you will be able to celebrate success i come your way again next time thank you for watching and have a great day bye